Garden. This is Daisy. Here we are. It's really nice and sunny today. The garden continues to thrive. The small shoots coming out of plants. Temperature is actually 12 to 13 degrees today. I thought, why not just go out and do a few more chores in the garden before actually we start putting the seedlings out. There's a few more sowing to do, weeding to carry on with, tidying up here and there to do. A few other stuff. I need to start some more tomatoes. Got the corn. I've got lettuce that I need to start and also I've got the potatoes to cheat so I have so much to do without losing time let's start gardening okay child so this is my uh, potato seeds for this year uh, I might be planting these um, in containers this year because I've got so many other plants that need the raised beds so this might go in the container so what I'm going to do is put them in trays like that to allow them to get some air and develop some shoots and then in a few days time I can put them in a container I've got some a um, couple of nice big containers I think this is where these will go so I'm just going to fill up these Potting mix. Just press it there, don't want to leave any air pocket. Okay, so we'll start with the golden conagen, the golden colored tomatoes. Okay, so I've got like a uh, module to fill in the two. So this is going to be like half an inch deep. So I'm going to put two in each just not taking the chance. If one doesn't germinate, the other will. Just increase my chance. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Here we have all these are done for today. At least I got the sewing out of way today. Well, this is as much as I can sew. If I do more than that, it will be a waste. So for the rest, I'll have to wait a bit longer because they just don't adapt to cool weathers. A bit too, so too soon to sew. There you go, just water these. We just have to make sure they keep moist. Welcome back. Um, as I said in my last video, I was going to do a planter with a couple of old wheels that I found. Now the story behind this is we were going for a walk in the nearby park and uh, I found four of these were chucked away behind somebody's house. I managed to bring three to us. I thought it was a bit of a waste. So what I'm going to do is paint it. I like vibrant colors, but I'm trying to use the colors that I have at home. So hopefully it will look nice enough. Put something inside, fill it with compost and I'll plant something in it. It would be good with anything really, because it's quite deep. If you look at that, I've got uh, some flower mix seed. I could sow that or I could do coriander or just a mixture of herbs. Uh, I've got three of those, so I'm going to paint each one color and then I'll just arrange them in a way so they look quite nice aesthetically. In a way, use them as well because I think it's such a waste um, to throw things like that and not use them, mainly if you don't dispose of them correctly. Let me just paint this first one. I've got two more to go after that. If you are a very creative person, I mean, really nice with colors, you could do design on them as well. I've seen very nice designs online. Some people do great creative jobs. Just do a simple 
makeover here. So it's nice to look at when somebody comes in the garden. This probably looks white to you, but actually it's frosted like, which is, is something of gray between gray and blue, very light. I bought that as a tester to paint the house from outside. Yeah, in the end, we went gray for the house. So I'm left with these little testers that I bought. There you go. So what I'll do, I'll leave that to dry out and then carry on once it's done. This is nearly done. It's a bit rainy today, so I'm not sure how long this will take to dry. Hi guys, so I'm on to the third now and uh, I didn't paint them all in one day obviously but sadly today it's raining and not so cold so I've got this little dry area here it's like a DIY pergola that we built last year in July so luckily I've got this area and it's just helping me do my job a little jobs in here if I'm not in the greenhouse Last year I bought this yellow harvest color and it's really really nice. I love it. Um, and I did say I think everything in the garden will end up looking yellow. I think this is becoming true actually. I did paint uh, my shed door yellow when I was doing my half corner and uh, also my um, a palette which I transformed into a planter and that's yellow in a couple of pots so yeah but we're nearly finishing so I won't bore you with that much longer to do is wait for it to dry out and then fill it up with the soil and start planting. Uh, I'm afraid today is not the weather for it. Hi guys, so just finished with painting. Look at my hands, all the colors. But I thought while I'm out, I might as well plant the strawberries. I'm going to soak them and then plant them in a little pot. Well, they're still awful. I'm sorry, it probably the sound will be horrible because you can hear the rain hitting the roof. I've got three. So this one is a bare root strawberry and the name is El Santa. Um, apparently it has very nice glossy fruit with lovely flavor. I've got some in the garden. Honestly, I don't know which one they are. We haven't had much success with them last year. I thought I'll buy a few more and I'm told this is quite easy to actually look after. I've got three bare root in here. Because it's still too cold, I'm going to plant them in pots for now and then transplant them in my strawberry planter when uh, it's a bit warmer outside. So yeah, let's see what I've got here. Oh God, uh, the leaves don't look great. Well, we don't need the leaves, it's the roots that we need. I'm just going to submerge this for 20 minutes and then put them in individual pots. There you go they're actually dormant at the moment so when you soak them in water they kind of rehydrate so this will be 20 minutes I'll start preparing the pots for them okay um, yeah it started to rain really heavy I prepared the pots and soil in a pot and um, just open the roots and then just cover the roots with some more compost I uh, left that little leaf out, so I think these have already started to develop, so same thing. I'm just going to lay it. I'm afraid this one is a bit big, so I might need a bigger pot for that. But as you can see, it's got massive roots once it's rehydrated. See that? 
going to spread it over the container, open it and then just cover it with more compost. Just two centimeter deep, not too much. Looks dead, doesn't it? I'm sure it's not. <laughs> I hope not. Oh, the rain seems to have stopped. That's good. So that's my four strawberries plant, hydrated and planted in pots. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm just having a blast out here, although the temperature's gone down. So we'll end this video here and I will see you the next time. Bye-bye. Take care.